Guys, what is going on on today's video? I'm going to take a look at a Vico Vault Tapu Coco spread deck. So, the idea is so, of course, you know what Vico Vault does, right? Um, maybe you don't, but for those of you who don't, basically, his busted GX attack, which basically does 60 damage. To all your opponent's bench Pokemon. So ideally, we'd want to use this to wipe their whole entire bench. And Charge Beam. So Charge Beam, very good. He does 50, gets an energy card. So that means you could get double cardless energy that you discarded after the knockout of Tapu Koko. So Tapu Koko goes down. Oof. And then my boy Vikavolt comes in, charge beams, gets that energy from the discard, straight onto him. Now, what's also great is we run two max potion. Insanely good. Let's say let me pull him up. A Zorork. So this nasty fella. He's been in a lot of videos and everyone knows what he does. So this nasty fella likes to two shot, right? So hits you for 120. Vikavolt has a 240. So then they hit you for 120. You go max potion, attach for turn, and then use charge beam to give back the energy that you discard from the max potion, and then go straight onto the Vikavolt again. So now he has three energy ready for the Gigatron or the Super Zap. Um, three Tapu Koko, good for starting with. He has Free Retreat, which means that he's really fast, he can move around, gives you more options. And then Flying Flip does 20 damage to each one of your opponent's Pokemon. And four Electro Power is pretty standard, increases the damage by 30, but only during that turn when you play it. Uh, weakness Policy. And for a max potion kind of deck, when they two shots with like, let's say they're fighting for when they hit us for 120, it'd normally be a knockout bit with the weakness policy. Um, it's not. There's only one Thunder Mountain, there's no other stadiums or anything. Couldn't really fit it in. Three are candy. Um, Lily, for the first turn, you really like it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Like, the only thing you could potentially change would be to add Tapu Koko Prism Star. But other than that, that's basically it. So, yeah, let's go into some matches. It's generally pretty good. The Vico Spread's pretty good because it has one shot capabilities and it has spread capabilities. So it's pretty good. And the only thing I don't like is the Gigatron. It takes a lot of energy, right? So getting the Gigatron out is kind of an issue. Okay. Anyways. So yeah. Mm, I like the deck. It's pretty interesting. You could add like Weavile if you wanted more spread and things like that, but it's kind of kind of a weird and just kind of funny deck. It's actually pretty good, it's actually a very good deck. Okay, start with Tapu Lele. That's pretty good. Now the reason why. Four Volcano is not good, is because it doesn't give you enough. Like it, you always have to have one thing so it can get you the other thing to complete like the puzzle. So yeah, Volcano is just not good enough. Only one two. Okay, let's pretty good. 
and looks like they are playing a Charizard deck. Top deck, a double Carlos Energy. So we're gonna go for a Nest Ball. Yep, Nest Ball and Energy. Okay, that'd be good. I'm gonna get those. And we'll grab a Grub. Yep, let's get this grub. Grub. And him for a six dirty. Mm, so close to a knockout, but just not enough. Okay, so, I mean, we don't have the best start, but we have the candy, which skips evolution, so we can go straight to Vic Vault. And he also has rare candy to go straight into Charizard. Not Charizard. It's really good. So basically, he punches himself, but then he gets two energy to use his attack. And his attack does a whole bunch of damage, and it's very annoying. So if he does get the knockout here, which wouldn't be surprised if he did, didn't, but like, yeah. Okay, it's a knock. So then basically, all we're gonna do, we're gonna stretch her the Lele. And then play Cynthia. Cynthia or... Or Volkner, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Mm hmm, yeah, I might play Volkner. Oh no, depends. Depends on my top deck. So you knock out. Boom. Oh, very bad, but it's okay. It's totally fine. So he's gonna take up the prize, and we're gonna set up the grub. Okay, so I'm gonna go stretcher and then use the ability of the Tapulele probably for Volkner because there's one in the deck, which there isn't. So we're gonna go for a Cynthia. Mm, that's not good. Okay, so now I wish I had a Volkner. Like I, mean, I don't want to play E Power right now because it doesn't really matter. But. Let's see, we have him for 80, right? Maybe with E Power, okay, that's fine. Okay, and then touch the double curlist. Hmm, I'm trying to see here. I think I may misplay. I think I should have only benched one of the Tapu Kokas. Because the next turn, I top deck Ultra Ball. And then I get the Orangu for three. But, it's okay. So he's going to Roar in here. For what looks like two energy. Not going to be knockout, which is good. Yeah, I think I misplay there. If I play the double E power, it would have been a little bit better. Okay, so he is going to use continuous blaze ball. Oh, Gokui. That's not good. So he has choice band, he gets knockout, I think. 
Minuten gehabt. Und ich meine, alle Riffpine. Ähm. Let's see, Double Colors. Oh, here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna touch Pleasure Aura. And touch to the Coco. Um. Burn some cards here. See the stadium. Get a Rangaroo. I, mean, I could get another Grub, but like. No. Save the stadium just in case. You never know, he could have something on his sleeve. Yeah, so we don't want to play E Power because basically we're stranding him because he killed himself if he goes for the Roaring right now. Get the Volkner from the prize cards. And he could have a Machoke, which would be bad, but that's okay. Machoke basically is like a bench barrier. So I prevent flying clips. Yep, Machoke is online. Okay, that's not good. It means we can't use Gigatron, which you really want to use. Hopefully it just passes and then it's good. I think I think so. Yeah, he's gonna kill himself, okay. That's good. Okay, so he's gonna commit suicide and bring up this Charizard. And and knocks it. He has seven energy in the discard. So yeah, I'm trying to think here. So this guy can knock him out, but it'd be at a really like huge cost. Which should be a chance that he could get knocked about the next Charizard that comes out. Oh, he's gonna ruin his off. Yet. Okay, that's like overkill basically, but like, that's okay. He's gonna retreat. Well, that's crazy. Oh, he's gonna goose my smarts. Okay, so now he's gonna knock out our boy. Um, I'm trying to think here. He takes two. And so I'm the Coco. Yeah, we can knock him out. I think that's the only option. Oh yeah, so this, the stadium, we play a stadium, touch energy, play Volkner, go for Nest Ball, and energy. Oh, don't grab the energy, let's go for Nest Ball. Nest Ball for a, a Grub. And choice man, draw one. And it's rare candy, okay. And then go knock it. Okay. Let's see, does he have the game? He might. We might just bring us up the Machoke then. Nope. Okay, so he might not have it. Hmm, trying to think here. Yep, he has to hit rare candy. Which wouldn't be that hard considering his hand's pretty big. He probably has it, because he attached for turn. So, oh, never mind. 
so he's going to dig for it he's praying to hit it and does he hit it okay he probably has it then yep okay he has it another charizard coming out almost sealed okay there's 11 energies in the discard Okay, 11 energies in the discard, 12 including this one, and only sure how many energies he, he runs. Oh yeah, that's, that's easy. So we're going to knock him out for 160, touch per turn onto the grub, and draw one for the Vicolot. Um, okay, draw one for the Vicolot. Boom, the cavalt. And then knock it with Electro Ball. Boom. Yep, so I think it's out of energy. Hmm, yeah, it could be wrong, but I think it's out of energy. He needs like an energy recycler or something to get back his energy. Or Victine, that works. And that works too. I'm gonna scoop. Okay. So that's gonna be. Um, yeah, we'll play one more game. One more game. And then we'll call it. There. So we're facing a pure electric deck. It seems like. Electric decks are pretty popular. <clears throat> yeah, it's really weird that you're playing Vicavolt GX and not not Vicavolt um like other Vicavolt. I mean, it works, right? Vicavolt GX, pretty good attacker. I didn't really see much that game though. Mostly just saw. Electro Ball. Okay, so I'm expecting this deck to be like, probably like a Zapdos. Zapdos with like Picaroms and stuff. Yep, yep, this Picarom. I'm not really sure it's pure electric, right? So I don't know what to expect. And what I do know is he is preventing the flip because he's playing pure electric. Mm, yikes, okay. So we're gonna get a Coco. Yep. And touch weakness onto bench. And then six with Lily, Orangaroo, keep the Ultra Ball for next turn, get the Order Pad. Okay, so hit, and that is Heads. And we hit him for 20, and get a Choice Band. Or we could try and draw Thunder Mountain, but Thunder Mountain's good for our opponent, that's not a problem. I think we can go with the Nest Ball to get. Yeah, Nest Ball. And to get a. And Sarah Aura down. And we're going to. Touch onto the onto the bench and pass. Okay, so next turn we're looking pretty good. Okay, I mean the stadium prevents Coco's from getting knocked in most likely. Oh, never mind. Okay, 
So it counts the stadium. I'm going in with that Thunderous Assault for Knockout. Okay. So this helps us. But we really want to turn down Pikrom. And Pikrom is really annoying. Okay. So here's how I do. So give up. Yeah, so give up the energy and stretcher. Because Sunny Man makes free, right? Let's grab this. Mm -hmm. The thing is, if I do time with like the big attack, I need choice pen E power, which is pretty hard to do. I guess we can use my map. And choice band, yeah. I'm just gonna hit him for 50 and then touch. Yep, it's a pretty safe move, honestly. Like, yeah, he's gonna retreat and then attack me. Yeah, he's nowhere near one shot, so should be good. Oh yeah, it looks like he's playing. Yeah, so he's thunderous for eighty. Oh yeah, so, okay. So max potion, the active. And draw two. Okay, hit the. Hit the double E power knockout. And his heads are not. Okay. So, I mean, realistically, there's no point in playing the E power because. Yeah, there's no point. Yeah, because we can just flip him another turn. So, just, just leave him there. Okay, so he's gonna bring up Pikaram and he's on full butts. So it looks like we're gonna live. Yeah, it's actually messed because it's like we knock him out, so I'm not sure what he's thinking. Yep. Okay, that's gonna be it. Thanks so much for watching. Um Yep. Looks like a pretty weird Pirom deck. Anyways, that's gonna be it. Um, take care, bye.